Yo, what's up guys, it's Callie, and in this video we're going to be checking out the brand new Summer Paradise event. Whoa, we're just going to make a left over here, that's a cool glimmer. So if you guys select on this icon right here, you can see we got a new Summer Paradise event, and you got all these mission creatures, so if you guys don't have some of these, a lot of them are from last year, so make sure you uh, tighten up that inventory and work on some of those missions. The new creature is going to be this Nucifra Koku creature right here. So you can see, in order to get this creature, I have to drink 125 units of water, and I have to do that. It looks like 20 times so each time you complete one of these missions it's going to give you an additional five percent so i've already done it twice and this progress right now the 65 out of 125 is my third time so definitely going to take a little bit so make sure you guys get on that grind the event goes on for three weeks and each week i'm assuming we're going to get a new creature and at some point probably the third week we are going to get a new summer event warden oh and don't forget you also have these shells I almost forgot. So these shells are going to buy you two color palettes. The first for 100 shells, it's going to be the Ocean Depth palette. And the second for 500 shells is going to be the Coral Reef palette. The uh, first creature we're going to be taking a look at today out of the two is going to be the Mornus creature. This got a remake and check it out, guys. This looks really cool. It looks a lot more edgy and uh, I don't know why. It definitely reminds me of Megatron, dude, from uh, from Transformers. Look at the face, at least a little bit. Let me know in the comment section. Cool color palette. Uh, these spikes weren't there on the previous one, so that looks kind of nice. And then the hair on the underbody is definitely a little bit different. And uh, now let's go and check out these stats and abilities. For the main stats, they didn't change that much. The health and the damage and speed and stuff like that, they're all a little bit uh, up and down. The biggest things is going to be the abilities, guys. On the previous model, as you can see here, we had 25% bleed defense and the strength and numbers ability. And now on the new model, we're going to get 50% uh, bleed defense and 2% bleed reflect. And we're going to get the glacier breath. That's going to do a whopping 2 DPS per second. And it's going to give the slowed effect. So check out the breath right here. That is really cool. But obviously, if you have a breath, that's always going to be nice. And then last but not least, we have the winter tag ability and the two thorns, guys. So that is also in addition to the other abilities for this creature. So yeah, make sure you guys check this out. I'm sure a lot of you already have it, but if you don't, there you go. Those are the differences for the uh, Mornus remake. All right, so now let's go ahead and check out that new Nusif creature. All right, here we go, guys. This is the new Nusif creature right here. So check it out. If anything is gonna scream uh, summer paradise, nothing like a palm tree. So that is the vibes I'm getting from this creature right here. You can see down here on the bottom left that you are a photovore and uh, it is a tier five. So check out the walking animation right there. You definitely got the smooth operator walk going. Look at that, look at the head nod. You got the backwards feet right here. Let's go. And then here's going to be your running animation. Almost everywhere you go with this new creature, you uh, kind of blend in. All right. So now let's go and check out the aggro ability with the aggro call right here. There we go. It's definitely a scream. Oh, it's cool. You got some uh, different color green uh, inside the neckline right there, which is kind of nice. And then here is going to be your cower with the friendly. Oh my gosh. We got some screamer calls. Okay. Then we got the broadcast. Okay. That matches the other calls and the voice. There we go. That's a little softer voice right here. Dude, you know what would have been pretty cool is if this creature had an ability or maybe like the aggro. If you select it and it just stands straight up like a tree and these uh, palm tree leaves just kind of, you see how they kind of fluff out a bit, but like they kind of went full circle. That would actually be pretty neat. Instead of invincibility, you just have like a straight up real looking palm tree. That'd be kind of cool. All right. So now for the stats and abilities, you can see right here, we're going to have a health of 6,200. It's got a max stamina of 70. It's going to have a walking speed of 25 with a running speed of 53. It's going to do 200 100 damage per bite and check this out it's got 40,000 weight on it so that is really good zero bleed per bite it's got a one out of three night vision so that kind of sucks uh but you know definitely can't have it all and this is a tier five herbivore like i said now for its abilities you're going to have 80 percent bleed defense which that's a big time dub and you are going to have the hardened ability the water breath one poison and one necro poison per bite so pretty good for sure here's going to be the breath ability right here there you go. That is the water breath. It's kind of cool. I wish it was daytime. You can see the cool blue it is. But uh, yeah, it's a tree. It's got water breath. It looks like uh, it's got some coconuts in the back or some kind of rocks. I'm not sure. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.